Bison Trail Hands 7308 here at Haled RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Bison is the number one producer of living quarter horse trailers. And uh, the Trail Hand is unapologetically their down and dirty working man's trailer. It is, uh, you know, made for rugged use. It's made to, to you know, ha be used a lot and to perform. But uh, what's nice is even though this is their down and dirty model, they don't skimp on the construction. All they do is scale down the features a little bit. You know, you're not spending money on a fancy graphics package. It's a white skin. It gets the job done. That's what this trailer is all about. We still have a nicer upgraded power awning with a really sweet, actually, LED light strip that is C-channeled in place, not glued in place, so it's not going to get hot in the summer and start to peel off your trailer. Still nicer outside speakers. The uh, the stovetop hood is still vented. Your critical stuff is done here. Your fluff stuff, you're not paying for it. Um, the uh, you know gooseneck window is still open. All of your windows still open for ventilation. The uh, Living quarter uh, amenities here are, are pretty comparable to what you see in other places. The uh, you know you get a full spare tire. Is it a big shiny aluminum wheel on this one? No, but it gets the job done. You still have twin batteries, not single batteries. We still have uh, twin propane tanks, not singles. We have an electric jack here. Uh, still the water spigot up front. You still have all the necessary things to get the job done. Um, the uh, aluminum skin, even though this is their budget conscious trailer, it's still .050 aluminum skin everywhere. This is a, a steel frame trailer, but they do take the time and, and spend a little extra money uh, to uh, put a, a 3M barrier tape between the steel frame and aluminum skin so this isn't going to oxidize and deteriorate on you. We do have a, a, a you know escape door here on the front stuff wall. And again, that does still open for ventilation. Stalls two and three do have drop down feeder windows. And what I like is how easily accessible they are. You don't have to reach way, way up there to get to the handle. Notice that we still have this uh, safe, uh, pff, let me try again a third time here. Face safety gates, bam, got it. Third time's a charm, that is true. Even little things like this, you still get on the trail hand. You still get the little marker lights on your fenders so that people know when you're turning. Just those extra little indicators. Um, this is seven wide. So you don't necessarily need um, extra towing mirrors to be able to see around it. It is seven six tall still. Again, the critical elements are there. Uh, the, the butt side windows do open for ventilation. Uh, you still have the nicer metal holdbacks. You still have the nicer floors in this. Uh, saddle tree right here, fully removable. Three horse rear tack. Pretty kind of standard there. Uh, you do have um, removable steel dividers. We do like to put a stud curtain and padding on these. Stud curtain on the first one, obviously. Your um, handles here, they're still one hand operational. You notice they still have a fully lined kick wall. So, you know, this thing is made to absolutely be smashed on. The, uh, they even still put the little runner here on top of the kick plate so that you don't ex, you know, the horse doesn't rub against it. My old horse, man, he leaned on everything and uh, he would always rub sore spots on himself. Uh, the uh, the ceiling here, you see all the extra su structure and support that still goes into the ceiling. God forbid you have to ever find out. This trailer will hold its shape if you flip it upside down. I just hope that never happens, you know. Uh, I like that we have a nice easy pass-through door right here to the bathroom area. Get you, you know, in and out. Kind of can serve as a mudroom. So this is an 8-foot short wall. The 7308 means 7-foot seven wide, 3-horse, 8-foot short wall. We still It's... Really the smallest you can get and still have a decent little bathroom in here. Again, this, is a, this isn't necessarily the, the trailer that you're going to live in. This is a working man's trailer that you're going to take to an event on the weekend and spend a day there or spend a week on the trails trail riding. Uh, easy access to the water heater for bypassing is something I really like. Um, even right here behind the toilet, we even have extra space and storage back here. Big linen cabinet so that you do have room for towels and whatnot in here. Moving forward... What I like about this, nice lights inside here. LED lights, actually, inside and out, which is, in this price point, really shocked me. Um, the uh, nice part about that is they're brighter. They use less energy. So if you are on battery power, which uh, people with the trail hand often find themselves, you know, at local events for a day or two, uh, they do run off batteries quite a bit. And I love the little, just the little touches, the little buckshot type things on there. Sometimes they're buffalo nickels, sometimes it's buckshot. 
Um, entertainment in this is pretty solid. This is uh, from the RV business. I'm very familiar. Uh, All-in-one AM, FM, CD, DVD, stereo, and a very reliable unit. This thing's made to be bounced down the road. Um, it uh, You see that it runs right up here. No TV included in this one, but obviously you can get TVs pretty cheap at any big box store nowadays. See the ceiling in the living area is lined and insulated. Um, you have some big windows in here and all of your windows do open for ventilation. There, there goes another happy customer right there. Hey. Um, the, uh, right here, we have just extra, extra pantry storage, extra space. Anywhere they could open it up, they did. And something I really like, easy push button battery disconnect. Just push it in, kill the power. Pull it out, you get power again. So you're not going to accidentally leave a light on and drain everything. Again, I mentioned the power awning. Let me show you how easy that is. Open this door here so you can see it. They use a good grade of power awning on this thing too. Um, you know, you see how quickly it rolls itself up. Uh, a lot of manufacturers, especially, in the, you know, I've seen in the RV business, they will use a cheaper awning that moves slower and uh, it'll wear itself out. They use a good, high-quality awning on this. Um, anything else? Extra storage up in the nose. We've kind of talked about being 7'6 tall. It does have extra room up here in the bed. Feel like I'm missing something. Oh, the sofa. Sofa does uh, kick down into a fold-down sleeper if need be. You know, if you got a, a, a kid or maybe a husband's in the doghouse. <laughs> Extra power outlets near your primary seating space to keep things like phones charged up and whatnot. Extra wardrobe space so you can, you know, bring along the extra shirts, you know, if you are uh, riding uh, at an event of any kind. Uh, pretty rank and file, but very effective kitchen setup here. And uh, what I do like is this does still have the uh, the gas electric RV fridge in it. Um, I've seen a lot of cheaper brands start going to like just an electric fridge, but again, if you're if you're not hooked up to shore power, it won't do you any good. And again, reliability, stainless steel sink, not a cheap plastic sink. The good stuff you're gonna need all the time. And hey, when you're done, walk over, kill the power. That's all there is to it. Now your batteries aren't gonna accidentally go dead on you. So, give us a call. 800. 256 5196 Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy trails.